Wasabi, you guys. I was recommended to try this integral here. And obviously, the first thing I noticed is to probably use Queen's Rule. And I'll show you why I want to use Queen's Rule. Uh, I don't know if it would work, but that's just an instinct that I have. Or like, that's just something that I want to try or experiment. But things like this, like I do see integrals like this a lot. Kind of like that physics problem-ish, where you have like a bunch of A's and B's, and you have like sine squared, cosine squared, and you do some sort of um, queen rule manipulations around, around there. But this one seems to be a little more trickier because that x squared is on top. So you have to maneuver a lot more. So when we do queen's rule, which is pretty much letting u equal pi minus x, uh, the bottom should stay the same, right? So we have this. This stays the same. Now we have pi minus x squared now. So pi minus x squared, that's going to be like pi squared minus 2x pi plus x squared. Okay, now here, oh god, I have i. I have i and I have i. Oh no, this is something that you want to prevent, <laughs> right? Because then this is, because what I, so what this means is that pi squared minus 2x pi, and then whatever what we had here, right? The integral of this is equal to zero because you have i here and you have i right here. And you can take this i to the other side and you get zero because you pretty much have i plus, if i equals something plus i, and that means that zero equals to whatever this is, which is what we have. So this is equal to zero. Um, are we ever going to use such a thing? Probably not. Well, oh god, well in that case, I guess, um, secant square, but, oh god, the reason why I'm just kind of like, eh, is that x, like what am I going to do with that x square? Uh, if I turn this into something a lot easier to bear with, like multiplying secant squared to the top and bottom, right? I get a tangent square x plus b. This is a lot harder than I thought. Okay, hear me out. Okay, just, just hear me. <laughs> just, just hear me out. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna grow some balls here. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna integrate by parts. Just, just experimentally. Now, I don't know if this would work, but again, it's all about experimentation. We're just gonna try something. Just try something. Okay, 1 over a, we get tangent square of x, sorry, a tangent square of x plus b. Oh boy. <laughs> I don't know if I made it worse or better, but we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna see. We could, oh, wait a minute, that's tangent squared. If we could do uh, u equal pi minus x now, now is, okay, well. Ah, and then we do ln of a tangent squared x plus b. Now, no, look at this. Now what do you notice? This, this part right here can cancel out. Oh, right? So now what we have, less redundantly, so now we have pi over a ln of a tangent square plus b dx. <laughs> it can fit, it can fit. Okay, so
Oh, shoot. Wait, have I been doing something illegal? Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, I'm okay. Wait, oh, oh, what's what? Oh, 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 we almost. So, you need to split this. Okay? I realize we are. We are. Oh, no. <laughs> Wait, so you're telling me that I can't do this substitution at all? Whatsoever? Oh, what am I doing? Oh, what am I doing? Oh my god! What am I doing? Ah! 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 No! Oh, what am I doing? Oh! Uh. Uh. Okay, so we're gonna... Let's pretend none of that happened, right? So this this is not Ellen uh, of this, okay? So we're we're gonna retreat. So no 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 I don't know what you guys are talking about. I I didn't know such thing. Um, but this is indeed what? Let's let's write this in blue. What is this? So we technically have du of a u square plus b. And this is like, um, I'm going to get the A out because it's hard for me to kind of see B over A. So now we have square root of A. I guess I'll do it simply. So seems like we have B. A. Okay, so we have 1 over AB, square root of AB, inverse tangent of U times square root of A over B. So, what this means is that we have square root of AB of inverse tangent of tangent of X times A over B. <laughs> okay. Well, um. So, okay. Um. <clears throat> wow. So it's, all of that is going to be zero. Right? It wouldn't be pi square times whatever. It's this. Because tangent pi is zero, which makes inverse tangent zero. Zero. So, what we really have. That inverse tangent and tangent is just nasty. Oh my god. So, the reason I can't do Queen's Rule, the reason I can't do Queen's Rule is because that's not tangent square. <laughs> that's tan x, y'all. So, I cannot... I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry because... If I do Queen's rule, it won't do anything. U equals pi minus x is not going to do anything. Because you get negative tangent x, and that negative tangent x is going to uh, affect the pi minus x at the very left of the integral, the 2x. And it's going to give me i equals i. Or i, yeah, it's going to give me like i equals something plus i. And you, you want to prevent that from happening. God, what is this? What even is this? I can't even. Oh God, this is a lot harder than I thought. Wow. Um, my biggest fear is that I need to integrate that again because I there's there's nowhere else for me to go from here. So, <laughs> no. Ah, uh, oh. Uh. So to integrate, uh, <laughs> oh my god, this is so bad. You can't use Queen's rule at all. You can't. You cannot use Queen's rule on this. Because that tangent x in the square root of a over b prevents you from doing that. Oh my god. Yeah, I, I can't. I don't have any ideas. Let me, let me look. So, 
Um, I tried testing some, so I just tried imagers, and Wolfram Alpha is struggling for some reason. It cannot integrate this integral. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know why, but this is surprisingly a lot. I I even tried I tried e and pi to kind of uh, generalize for all real uh, real numbers, but um, it cannot it cannot integrate. It cannot integrate for some reason. Oh no! It can't solve it. <laughs> what kind of integral did you give me? Oh no! I tried, but I cannot. I don't think I can. I can solve. I don't have any other ideas. That's my attempt. I thought Queen's rule, Queen's rule would help. I hope you guys understand my struggle. <laughs> because there's there's no way in how I could do Queen's rule with it. You can't, right? Because that's that's tangent x, and that that square root of eight over b prevents it. The two x is annoying. Oh. God, who thought so many things could go wrong? Yeah, my my biggest fear is that someone uses Feynman technique on this or complexifying, and I I genuinely hope that's not the case, and that there's something faster and easier. <laughs> okay, so I hope you guys enjoy that. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.